Hey, it's Chad and Sarah. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully great. Hopefully great. If you're not doing great, this will help. Big thumbs up to you. Yes. Maybe send a couple back if you're inclined to do so. No pressure. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to go over some comments we had in this last video here. You can see quite a few people commented. We were asking, is there a day where it's just, hey, I'm, I'm done waiting for up here. I'm moving That's on. It. I'm out. <laughs> or are you in for the long haul? We found the comments very interesting. Very interesting. So without further ado, we're going to get right into some of your comments. But stay to the end. We have two bonus comments that came in on this video that had nothing to do with the question. I love bonus comments. But they're fascinating. Okay. They're just fascinating comments. So <laughs> stay to the end. I think you'll, you'll be glad you did. So let's get right to work. We have to start these comments with an apology. So sorry. So sorry. I'm so so sorry. Here's why. Ron W says, "Keep making those videos, guys." Uh, thank you. Very kind. Yeah, thank you. You're almost at a thousand subscribers. Yes. Very happy for y'all. I've been watching you since one of your first episodes. Ron, we're so sorry you had to watch those first episodes. <laughs> I'm not saying this is great. I'm not saying this is ready for primetime production here. But those early videos were rough. Thank you. Thank you for sticking with us. We really, really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Ron, and sorry. And a great point about the subscribers. Did you hear what he said? Almost, Almost a, thousand. a thousand. Yeah, so That's our goal. If you want to help with that, you know what to do, right? I don't have to say the word. Subscribe. subscribe. Moving on. Okay, so this is Al Rizzi, one of our regular, most funny commenters ever. And his comment was really long, so I'm mm -hmm. not going to share all of it, but I recommend you go to the comments and watch it because it was funny. But at the end, he said, oh, yeah, we'll wait. That's the summary. He's willing to so wait yeah. forever. So, yeah, we'll, we'll wait. wait. Yeah, I like it. But he said this, I think Rugen has an attitude problem. <gasps> are you aware that you and Sarah are his servants? Better get on that. Ha ha. Great question, Chad. <laughs> Who's Rugen? This is Rugen. Okay, so thanks, Al. Thanks for the comment. Uh, Rugen appreciates the shout out. And yes, we will get on that as we've been trying for seven years. Actually, yes, he has an attitude problem. Yes, we know that we are here simply to serve him. That was our purpose on this earth, to serve him and hopefully get subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> and no, we can't fix it. Okay, let's, try. let's go to another one. This comes from Nanchaku Man. If I said that wrong, I'm sorry. 2026. This is the time to look for something different. It really depends on where I'm living and my financial stability. Great avatar of a sloth. That is so cool for the, what do you call that picture? It's not an avatar. It's a uh, profile pic. Profile pic. Yeah. Hey, thanks for sharing. We, we weren't aware it. that our um, audience included sloths, so we're very excited. This is our first known sloth audience member. Right so thank you. Yeah. Marcus S, the Marcus S. For me, drop date drop date is when he's walking away from up here is a week after my funeral. Okay. Don't rush into anything. Yeah. So Marcus, you're in it for the long haul. Is that the interpretation? <laughs> That's how I understand it. And he has a Reddit page he oversees. It's uh three wheels are enough. R slash I'll put it on the bottom of the screen. Thanks, Marcus. We appreciate the comment. RKM, I'd say mid to late 2023 for the go, no-go decision. Right now, Eptera looks to be on track to be starting production sometime in 2023. Yay! Yay! They've been reasonably consistent in their progress. I think there's more to this comment. Oh, yeah. Also, Rugen, Rugen is awesome. More Rugen. Yes! Okay, you asked agree for more. It. Here comes some more Rugen. Thanks for the comments, RK. We really, really appreciate you taking the time to comment. Uh, Osmond Dobbs, you guys never fail to crack me up, Chad. Nice job. Notice he Yay. didn't say Chad and Sarah. But he said you guys. I'm in that. But you're not a guy. But it's you guys. That's a colloquialism that means I you folks. I crack up Osmond Dobbs and you do it's, not. <laughs> we say you guys in the north like they say y'all in the south. All so you guys. you guys means whoever's in the group. And I'm in this group. Okay, glad to crack somebody up, uh, Osmond. <laughs> Thank you so much for the comments. Appreciate the nice words. Oh, Elzo. Elzo says, my patience is huge, bragger. <laughs> so I'll wait forever. <laughs> and in the meantime, I'll ride a bicycle. That's a benefit of living where you live, sir. Because if yes. you try to ride a bicycle here to get around, you're going to be a pancake, a road well, pancake. Well, now don't say that because a lot of people do. We have bike lanes and many people use that as their form of transportation or they try or exercise. So, hey, 
Good job. Good if you're you. doing that, good on you. I'm too scared because it's scary here. It's the original zero emissions vehicle. <laughs> For sure. Keith Paris. My date is 2028 20, or whenever my current ICE car, now 20 years old, fails. You're getting close, Keith. <laughs> okay. I don't know if 2028 20, is when that 20-year-old car is going to fail. Well, it would be very interesting if it makes it. That'd be great. Because, that would be a story by itself. You'd have right. to write a book. And then he mentioned, like many of us, because of world conditions and the economy, that uh, personal income issues have uh, definitely affected us. We hope it comes around for you and you can buy an Aptera soon. Thank yes. you, Keith. That's one thing I really like about um, Aptera is that their is their price point because a lot of the EVs that have a longer range also have a higher a comparably higher price range through the roof. Yeah, so I'm really excited at where I hope that's where Aptera lands on their. You know, it's not in production yet, so you just never know if there might be changes. But I, I at least like where they're starting, and hopefully, it will stay in the affordable range for most people. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jeff the Christian Gamer, late 2024 is my personal date. Thanks for sharing that, Jeff. We appreciate it. One more here we had. Uh, Go tell Jesus Save says, I think plenty of people will stay on board. Apparently, sir, you are correct. Because we've read a lot of people that say, hey, after my funeral, I'll give up my reservation spot. And El Rizzi, the rest of his comment, he said, even if I die, at least my wife could drive it. Hmm? We didn't read that because I thought it was a little morbid. Okay. Yeah, but anyway. Uh, well, like, yeah, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Yeah. But a great point here, he says, as long as Eptira continues to keep people updated on their progress, that is... Mm -hmm. is a big deal to people yes. like me and Sarah. Yep. You know, we we don't mind dropping $100 for a reservation. Of course, you can do it for 70 Link in the description, that's it for that pitch. We don't mind putting $100 down, but we would like to know what's going on. Right. And then we've also invested, and many of you have too. We like to know what's going on, you right. know. So that was a, I thought that was a brilliant comment. Very well, much worth sharing. With any good relationship, good communication is a key to keeping that relationship happy. <laughs> So yes. it's nice to know what's happening so that we can go, we know what's up. After 30 that's, years, that's what it takes. That's what you it let takes. let me know now. Now you know. Okay. So we promise a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> we promise a bonus comment. Yay! I've, who I've doesn't got, love a bonus? I've got two bonus comments. Let's just okay. get to them. One's from a friend uh, of the show. I call him a friend of the show, you know, because we've met him, talked to him, mm -hmm. interviewed him. G. Patton Hughes from Atlanta area. Mm -hmm. When, when... Pat, as I call him, I don't know if he likes that or hates it, but when <laughs> Pat leaves a comment, it's like I get up in the morning, I open my comments, and I read a novel before I get out of bed. Because you can see the man is never short on words. Good communication. Good communication. So I'm, and, and Pat, I read every word, and I, and I love every word, but I'm not going to show every word. So if you want to read this, go back to that video and go in the comments, because he always has something insightful to say. Mm -hmm. But here's what, how he ended it, and this is what I really wanted to share. He said, I figure if I play my cards right, I might even get the, uh, or get to get the app here and keep my, quote, among the first Spark EVs, and he gives the serial number, as a possible collector. What do you think? And I had to think. Because, you know, our family, my dad collects classic cars. He has mm -hmm. a 60-something vet and a, another yep. vet and a, all these old, cool, very cool classic cars. But the Chevy Spark, one of the first Chevy Sparks, that's going to be a classic EV. Mm -hmm. And it never dawned on me. We own an early Leaf. That's going to be, you know, that's Jay Leno's garage of the future. Right. And again, who makes me think of that? Pat Hughes, because he thinks different. Yeah. Than most people that I yeah. know. It's great. It I is. Have great question. So what do I think? I think you're right. And I don't think I'm ever going to let go of my Nissan Leaf now. Sarah, what do you think? Well, I mean, I don't know about our Nissan Leaf. It would be nice if we can keep it. I don't know if circumstances will allow us to do that. But if you have a, a serial number that has that many zeros in it, because these are the, among the first of these vehicles to have ever been made. Yeah. That's impressive. It's a big so deal. that I, it's a collector item, absolutely. And eventually, people are gonna have those. Like these are the first EVs. Like they have yeah. the first V8s or you know whatever, but whatever cool, benchmarks cool there are. That so. I never thought of before. Thank you, Pat, for making yeah. me think again. I appreciate it. And also, if you're gonna be one of these first to get the Aptera. 
And there's going to be a lot of opportunities to roll those over for profit because the demand is going to definitely outweigh supply. You might think of holding on to that because that's going to be something yep. you're going to want as you get older to enjoy. Okay, here's another one. This one has a bunch of numbers. Bear with me, but again, I just thought it was fascinating. This came from old retired guy. You know, sometimes old retired guys have something to say. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Okay, this is what he said. A little quick math from there, meaning Aptera's webinar this week, last week now. Chris states, Chris is one of the founders. Okay, I'll stop editing. Chris states, 12 assembly stations, build a vehicle in two hours, 10 minutes slash station equals six per hour produced. This, I believe, is their target speed. So it works out to 48 units per eight-hour shift, 12,000 a year. But it'll take months or maybe a full year to get to this level, especially in today's environment. So you can guesstimate approximate build date from this. In my Ooh. case, yeah, cool. Like a calculator. It's like and a mystery. Like a mystery calculator. How do I, <laughs> where will I get my up there? I'll put it in a calculator from the old retired guy. In my case, my order is in the 16,000s era, area. So I'm thinking very late 2024, early 2025. This was to be my first EV, but I think I'll try to find something used in the meantime. Old retired guy, thank you for this. Now, we can't verify these numbers. Nobody else can. We don't know yet. But a lot of people have been asking, in fact, this week in the comments, if I order today, when will I get it? Well, I don't know. Right. We, we don't know. Nobody really knows. But this gives us a starting point. We can at least go by the word of the company and say, mm -hmm. okay, if things go right, this is the plan. And keep this comment. You know, you can do a screenshot and go into the comments and you can screenshot this or right from the video and then you'll have that calculator to use. Thank you, old retired guy. Yeah, And it really illustrates the importance and how valuable it is to keep that communication. We appreciate when Aptera gives us updates, gives us information so that we can think, okay, so what's that going to mean for me and my Aptera? So that is awesome. That's awesome. And you're awesome, and you're we awesome. appreciate all of you so much. Thank yes. you. Yes, is that it? I think that's it. If you haven't subscribed yet, oh, there it is. We would love it yeah. if you would subscribe. It would make Rugen very happy, and he might even give you a thumbs up from Rugen. Oh, he's, yeah, he's got you he's know, got six thumbs, fingers. so he could do that. Let's check and see how many subscribers we have, real quick. Okay. Oh, seven hundred fifty-nine. Wow. Oh, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, much. this year started with I think eighty-eight. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So that's you. That's you. Thank you. Thank you. It means Wait. a lot to us. Hey, do you want to watch a different video? Yes, of Here's course I do. Here's one about the Aptera right here. Have a great day. Chan Sarah from Michigan. We're out. Mic drop, but I'd have to take it out of here. And All right. Have a yeah. good one. Thanks. <laughs>